everybody welcome to another ride along with goggles and uh so sunday and we're going to do that longer drive that uh, i guess people have been asking for and i kind of like to do too so we'll go for a nice sunday drive we're in uh, winnemucca nevada and we're going to head south to las vegas and i did this trip the other day in the opposite direction and it was kind of fun so uh it was just like old time's sake because early on when i first got the game there wasn't a whole lot and uh, this is all part of it. I pounded up and down there a fair bit, but it's been years uh, since I've been on it, other than that trip the other day. So this is going to be fun. So we'll look at the map real quick, and then we'll get going. So we're up at Walmart in Winnemucca. We're going to head south through the desert here. And uh, it's pretty cool. So it should be should be a good time. So let's do it. And we, well, we'll talk about various things along the way that we got going on here with the truck and trailer. And uh, yeah, let's hop in. It's the uh, Roland 389. And of course, it uses three uh, SCS 389 stuff. So we got a paint job. I think I made this one, this is my own personal paint job, but it's on Steam as MacGyver as well, I think. Uh, I've got, you know, my name in the door and my number. My old number from when I was driving. And, um, what else? The truck, the trailer skin's on Steam. We got that chrome trailer frame mod going. And, uh... We got uh, mud flaps on the truck and the trailer, old school all the way along. So the trailer mod isn't out yet. The truck mod is, just came out on Friday. And, uh, well, who knows, maybe the trailer mod will be out by the time you see this. Wouldn't exactly, you know, be in a hurry to hold my breath over that because uh, I'm recording this on Friday because I got a busy weekend coming. Let's see if we can get that out of here. Rocky Mountain Double. Haven't hauled one of these. Yards, turn right. Haven't hauled one of right. Haven't hauled one of these in quite a while. this truck, SCS truck and Roland, is it does a really weird thing with the paint. I don't know where it samples the inside paint from, but I sure wish they'd give you an option. You know, just put all the inside parts on a little section of the template and let you paint it. Because we got a left door frame on the turn right. This yellow, we got one on the right. It's white. And I have no idea how to get around that. Turn right. Got uh, Z mods uh, DD60 in here. Turn left. Gonna turn in front of this guy. Oh, he's turning. He's something to do the big wiggle waggle there. Oh, that's on steep ramp. Oh, wait. Want to gear down in the middle of it? South right away here. Oh, here comes Southwest Motor Transport. We'll have to look and see how the mod's doing. Is that a Mac? Oh no, it's a Cascadia, I guess.
That was my first Texas skin. When Texas was in, when, well, actually, I, Texas, I did it before Montana. Uh, which one, Wyoming? I think it was before, I can't remember what came first. Did Wyoming and Montana both come before Texas? Or was it Montana? Came before Texas. Because they were talking up Texas and everybody was sure it was Texas was going to be next. So I made that. I made uh, several skins for Texas. And then it uh, didn't release. Turn right. So I actually made that skin a long time before Texas came out. It's a skin pack for all of the SCS trucks and uh, trailers. And the thing that's annoying about it, well, not annoying, but I mean, like everything, it's out of date too, because more trucks have come along since. But I don't know if it, I should go back and look at that mod sometime and look at the um, item stats. If I look at the stats, I'll be able to tell if people are using it or not. And if they're using it, uh, I could update it to include the new trucks. I don't have the truck volume too loud. Looking at my gauges over here. Green in my voice and the green on the truck are kind of matching, but the truck is bursting through a little more. Maybe what we should do at some point here on the trip is uh, get to a stop sign or something and uh, drop it, drop it a bit. Look how close it is. Speed limit along here is 70. The question is going to be, you know, not can we get going to 70 with, uh, we got uh, 66,000 pound combined load on here. Uh, we've got the, uh, fairly stout engine in here. Shouldn't cause us too much grief. Problem is always uh, running into traffic. I just hope I don't have the classic truck pack. down real fast and uh, just turn the overall volume down to there I'll look at the gauges on the over on the side here it's, could be better now oh, you guys have to comment and see if it was tell me if it was better before or after gotta get this sorted out mud flaps in the back. Oh, they're little shorties that hang off the trailer. Mud, uh, bumper bar. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. Yeah, so I'll work on getting that uh, 
the, the trailer mud flaps, there won't be as many as I don't think. I don't, uh, like, you know, I'd only match them to how many box trailers I have, and I have uh, the new old school, old school Mulligans, Montana Express. Oh, I don't didn't do Montana Express yet. I gotta, you know, what I should do is a couple trailer skins first. The uh, Big Sky Trucking and Montana Express skins for the SCS trailer. Other than that, maybe a Hell Creek Ranch one too. Because I've got, um, oh, that Hell Creek one with the, uh, yeah, that I did on uh, Pister's uh, Wade Stepside. The big ranch scene in the oval on the side, that one looked good. Okay. Yeah, I should do that. Hock up three trailer skins, so that would be Mulligans. Old school, new old school. I got Lost Arroyo already. Um, geez, I forget them all. Do the Big Sky, do the uh, Hell Creek. Uh, boy, oh boy. Oh, his car's coming. Good to get around this guy. He's not quite going the speed limit. Coming up there, I think. Oh, I probably could have done it. I would have had the downhill momentum. See, it's over the next valley corner. Looks like, oh, uh, we're going to turn up ahead. Maybe he'll turn right. The old building over there. Church. Oh, good size scene for a, yards, turn left. a western movie. Huh. Should go in there and uh, sometimes just fly a truck in there, see if it's a good turn spot left. to uh, take some truck photos. The downside to places like that is when you get there, you find they're not in scale. Not even close sometimes. do that you know I automatically turn you know I should be staying left when I'm looking back like that and I'll straighten out for some reason it's funny brains wired where you got to concentrate on two things at once keeping the steering wheel where it is and taking in what you're seeing behind you Jiggle joggle in the trip. Turn right. We should be able to keep going fairly. Yeah, to know about 124, 126. And that sound meter over there. I actually think this might be working. Just based on what I'm seeing, and if it is, hallelujah, maybe we got a plan here. So the uh, truck mud flap, so there's 15 in the mud flap mod, and there's a few uh, that I've got to add trailers for. So the Hell Creek Ranch one doesn't have a trailer for SCS stuff. Um, let's see, the, what was the other one? The Prism Trucking, I need to do a flat deck mud flap, I've got to add it to the pack. 
That's used. That should be a pretty straightforward thing. I'll just add it in. Oh, there's a. Uh, looks like an old, old school bulk feed up ahead. So, um, yeah. So I can make. The I can add it to the existing mod, and then you'll wake up one day and go, "Oh, hey, I got a new mud flap." I guess you can. Oh, excuse me. You mentioned before you can um, uh, subscribe, unsubscribe, and resubscribe, or you can do verify game files. Oh man, here we go. This guy's also. Oh, is he all of a sudden? Yeah, he's finding some power all of a sudden. get too far. Old school uh, 389. Oh, here we go. Get a little boost on this downhill here. Once the trailers get over the hill. Oh, he's hitting the brakes. Thanks, buddy. Couple old school guys traveling the road together. If I remember correctly, uh, I gave the uh, AI skins a unique door uh, driver names on the doors. Like I just made them up, like you know, Curly and Mo. I, <laughs> I, I think I did the Three Stooges. A few other things gave them different numbers. Now here's the equivalent to that little black glass uh, van we used to see all the time. And, early version of the game. Give him a go, he's barely moving. We do have a very long trailer here. Maybe he'll hit the brakes too. Yeah. Yeah, I'll have to look at the... Uh, next time we get beside one. We could go into photo mode. And uh, zoom around, have a look. Could have done that there. That would have been a good idea. back a little bit, built up some speed. So you do it in real life, like you get yourself back a little ways, and you know, you know if you know the road, and you know when your opportunity is going to come and you start building up speed, but not so much, you can't break, and depending on your load. Because it's a game of inches when you're truck against truck, you know, it's... Uh, can't just go yarding it around. Here we go. Get the trailer over the hill here behind us and it'll start going. Here we go. Ooh, it's, he's moving pretty good too now. Oh, he's hitting the brakes finally. Thank you, buddy. If I had working lights to flash for you, I would. Yeah, it's, you know, the scenery, I just look out here and think, uh, boy, it would ever be nice to, um, oh, it was an 18th, uh, if uh, they were to someday revamp this too.
box here. Oops. Not going too slow there. Another place with some buildings up on a hill. Tonapa, Tonapa. I think I've been saying it wrong and I've been getting, somebody's been kind enough to put the pronunciation in twice. And I think that I go Tonopa and that's O-H and I'm getting told it's U-H. So it'd be ton, Tonapa, I guess. Hope I'm not messing that up. Oh, geez, that truck's still in there. How the heck is that happening? That T680 with the uh, messed up paint. I looked at the mod. I don't have it in it anymore. And I've uploaded the new version. an hour says on me. Dash panel speed limit here already. Oh, he's got a merge. I can't. Oh, now it's 35, so for some reason my little indicator isn't telling me the true story here. Now it's 70. I wonder how that works, like how that little, gets a little break in it, in its uh, communication with what the game's got scheduled for speed on a section of road. It's like the old days when you were kids and you had your slot cars and you had a break in the track's connectivity. <laughs> There's a break in the connectivity of the speed limit deal. dry desert here. Yeah, so if they ever re revamp all this, just think of the what these guys have learned since they first did this one. The scenery to make it pretty cool. steam on here. Another little town coming up it looks like, but I don't see one on the map. Oh yeah, there's something coming up up ahead. Gonna be hanging right. Where the road just turns right. Yeah, the uh, north side, the uh, road on the uh, east side of Nevada going north south, it's kind of fun too. Oh, there's a cow hanging out in the middle of the. <laughs> Is he moving? No, I didn't see. This is kind of cool. I was going, when I went through here the other direction, I stopped by that cactus and heading the other way and took some photos. Kind of scenic little spot. I just have the frames locked at 60 uh, FPS and if 
find the game runs smoother, but you can see the lines below it. Like when they're steady like that, the uh, two orange lines. So one of those is frames per second and one is frame time. And if they're steady like that, that's awesome. That's uh, run real smooth. Come on guys, it's... Oh, that'd be silly to try that right there. It's... That would have been a mistake. Even if you yeah, just never know if there's somebody coming or not. I fumbled that and made me, you know, drop back three trailer lengths. I forgot to turn my lights on. Oh. was a uh, big sky trucking so that trailer skin <laughs> I've made a trailer skin for the AI but I didn't do one for the uh, for the game to after the player trailers that one's uh, probably gonna look much the same but the Montana Express one is gonna look drastically different than the AI, AI skin This bus is annoying. Well, I guess it must be a sightseeing one and want to give everybody their money so we're not race through the scenery. We've got 100 miles. Oops, get over here, dude. 100 miles to go. turn left, two intersections up. Yeah, look at it, scenic here. Let's uh, jump out here and have a little look. Palm trees swaying in the breeze. Raise hamburgers. Oh, I just hope that bus doesn't turn. After 100 yards, turn left. Keep going straight. Turn left. He went straight. Right, he's got a stop sign. Oh, he's holding back. He knows we got a trailer on. <laughs> he pulls ahead. Look the sounds, eh? It sounds like, I guess it's supposed to be the trailer coupling. Maybe, oh, we do have a pintle hook on there. Should have. What do they show for a hitch down there anyway? Yeah, it's a pintle. Oh, that hurt. Well, that was bound to happen sooner or later. The way I putts around, not looking where I'm going. Yeah, whoops. We're putting forward here. Hope I didn't damage the cargo. Nope. That was goofy. All to find out it is a pinto hitch. I could have looked here, actually. The back of the trailer has a... Yeah, you hear the sounds coming from the trailer. Oh, it's going to be really interesting to see if you have a different trailer configuration on... Like, say, uh, B-double with the fifth wheel wouldn't be making that noise. I wonder if that's a pinto hitch. We'll go closer here and listen. Probably wouldn't make as 
any noise once you get going because we got a good tug on it now, a good steady pull going, not going up through the gears at low speed. I wonder if that's the way this is. Oh, there's a run over here. We're going to have to listen to this thing. up towards uh, civilization here, I should, oh, let's see if we can, okay, got our photo, oh, we got to hop in here, try and not crash the truck, again, So I've got the, uh, maybe I got the uh, trailer spawn rate down a little bit low, the, uh, I'm sorry, the AI traffic, the uh, uh, truck and trailer paint jobs, because I'm not seeing very many of them at all. I don't think we've seen a, one, maybe, maybe we've seen a mulligans? I don't think so. So I guess I'm going to have to go back to 0.5, try it out. I'll try and I guess I'm gonna have to wait till next week to get this mod out because uh, oh I should oh yeah I gotta add Seminole to it my word what am I thinking the Oklahoma coming up yeah yeah we gotta do some uh, Seminole stuff that's kind of a no-brainer okay plan Yeah, I'm gonna, when I get going slow again, I'm going to jump back out and try and get around the middle of the truck and then move to different locations and see if they're actually modeling the sound of that pintle hitch, because if they are, that's pretty cool. If somebody commented, oh, I don't know, they were, thought I had some sound mod on that was giving us the cricket, crickets. Go straight. But I think, well, if we're in, um, Promods Canada, you're going to get a whole lot of ambient sound that you don't get from ATS. But ATS were saying that they were going to increase the uh, amount of ambient sound, real, real world sounds. So, could be the case. But yeah, this rolling truck is, uh, you know, when you're not crashing it, it's a pretty nice truck to drive. Oh, here comes Big Sky Trucking again. But, uh... Yeah, I've not seen very many of the others. I'm going to have to look at that spawn frequency and see what I really set up there. And we're going to Walmart. After 50 yards, exit right ahead. We're going to Walmart, seven miles away, so I guess we don't have to drive all the way through Vegas, because right it must be pretty close. Go straight. Oh, I was supposed to be listening for the pintle hitch. Darn. Let's see what's going on with traffic here and we'll jump out. I get up around here. I don't think that's what it was. I remember using these rest areas like that a lot. The one on the right there. When I was doing the uh, realistic thing. There's that sound again.
Might be a little bit much to expect them modeling the sound of the pitch. So cool if they would do something like that. This light's probably gonna change. Just hang on here, get ready to put the binders on. Nope. Left down there. Taco hell. Huh. Much more traffic is back there. I think I should wait. Yeah, I shouldn't go left yet. there too quick. Huh, okay. Let's get where we can about the center of the truck here and listen. Just hear a bunch of traffic noise. the noise. There it is. Huh. Mm -hmm. right, Walmart's all over the place. You can hear that every now and then, sort of a hollow, dull sort of clank. There again. Go straight. I don't know if you guys are picking it up or not. Hmm. I gotta quit obsessing over it. It's pointless. Not cool looking rig. I like the old school uh, skin when you paint the. Uh, paint what I usually make red black it looks pretty slick yeah funny this little mud flaps on the trailer are quite short oh the other thing I meant to point out about these trailer mud flaps and the truck oh well, we'll look at them when we get to the uh, where we're going I made the inside of them different than the uh, the low boy and flat deck mud flaps, which are all kind of you know dirt brown on the inside. And these ones are more like road dirt, like grayish. I came up with a final, you know, I don't know what do you call it, blur effect for them. Keep left. After 50 yards, turn left. Turn left. And uh, Truckee didn't work. I went to get a, a load with Truckee and no go. Couldn't get it to happen. Okay, we're going to stay way right After here. Cause 100 yards, turn left. Get up on the curb here a little bit. Turn left. Because uh, it's kind of unforgiving like the trailer for this gate. Maybe I have you have to do reached a little, your destination. Little do -si do here. Maybe not. I might have it. Ah, right, we're good. Uh, no, we got to place it. We're not backing this one in. Oh yeah, when I picked up the load, forgot to mention. They had me right, see where that blue Walmart trailer is? That's where I was parked. And the back of the trailer was against the loading dock bumper. And the front of the truck was about six inches from the fence. So it was, uh, I had to fly it out of there and 
park it here pointing the other way to start the video. I don't know why I can't figure that out. But you got a trailer that's not going to fit there. Like, how is that? Just a little bit of math. <laughs> Okay, here we are. Well, hopefully that wasn't too long a video and uh, not too boring other than, well, be heading off into that concrete barrier. We'll get to see that every day. Okay. 136 gallons, 485 miles. So that is by far the longest trip we've ever done. And not a bad fuel consumption, really, considering the distance and weight. That wasn't a light load, but there we are. So, Rocky Mountain Double Oats. So these skins are on Steam. And uh, bear in mind, you got to remember that, uh, okay, so this is the Roland 389, but these mud flaps that I put up, they work on it. So, I, you know, the Steam mod says Roland and SES 389 because they work. And it's the same with the skins, just as a reminder. You can put any SES 389 skin on the Roland 389. So if you see skins in the workshop of mine or whoever's, well, if you're looking for mine, if you want to match them to the 15 mud flaps. Um, and then this box trailer, these aren't out yet, but they will be. I'll get this uh, going, uh, oh, hopefully before mid next week. Uh, they'll be out because Oklahoma's coming on Tuesday, so maybe I should make a little effort and get them out before then, so that because uh, I when Oklahoma comes out, I'm just going to want to be driving on it instead of making skins and mods and stuff. But anyway, as always, guys, appreciate you following along. And uh, oh, another thing, uh, I had a, a bunch of subscribers joining lately, and uh, thank you for that. And also. A uh, new patron or two, and I just want to thank them for uh, their support. And uh, gee, if you made it this far in the video, <laughs> thanks so much. And uh, take care. We'll catch you on the next one, and uh, happy Sunday to you. Bye for now.